reports are normal for a patient. The investigation reports are all normal. They come to the OPD or the patient calls us many times and they tell that, Madam, all my reports are normal but still we are not conceiving. So in these cases, firstly and foremost, we have, see, we have to see that what reports have been done, whether the reports that are required have been done or not for all the things because many times the general tests that have been done like a CBC, HIV test, patient feels that all the reports are done. So first and foremost, we have to address that all the infertility reports are done or not. Secondly, the reports have been done complete or not because what happens in a semen analysis, the patients get a semen analysis done. The motility is only commented. There is no comment on the morphology, means how the sperm is looking. But the morphology portion is also very much responsible for your conception factors. So we have to see the reports in totality. What reports are done? What is the depth of the report being done? Secondly, who is interpreting those reports is also very important. Like a fallopian tube test report. In a fallopian tube test report, many times the tubes are open, but the tubes are not functional. Means the tubes are open, but the tubes are inflamed, they are thickened, or they are having a hydrosalpings with the tube being open. So in those cases, the tubes are open, but they are non-functional. This the patient is not able to understand if the, it is not interpreted in a normal place, in a good place. Then the patient thinks that, okay, I'll be able to get pregnant on my own. But the truth is that this body organ is not functioning and the patient is not able to get pregnant. Then a lot of time lapses. So like if you are seeing 100 patients in 95% of the cases, either the specific tests have not been done completely or they have not been interpreted properly. Now in the 5% cases which have been left, we do base, like if the basic tests are normal, we have to go for advanced tests. In the advanced tests, we can catch hold of some problems which have not been caught in the basic test. In some patients also, there is a hidden history, means the patient had some problem in their earlier times, but now with medication it has been cured and the patient doesn't give that history during the time of the history taking. Because they don't know that the medications that they have taken earlier might have some effect on their fertility right now. So it is very important for us doctors also to hunt the history properly and for the patients to give the history properly. So ultimately only I think 0.1% patients or 1% patients remain who really have unexplained infertility and in whom we have to deal with this unexplained infertility. And in 99.9% .9 cases, 99% cases, it is not that the report is okay. It is only a myth when the report has not been interpreted properly or it has not been done properly that everything is okay but the patient is not conceiving. Friends, if you are liking my infertility videos, please like and subscribe my channel so that I can make more infertility videos for you.